My name is Matt Zoe. I've been producing for almost two decades now, including quite a bit of drum and bass. <laughs> I talk you through how I would produce a drum and bass track from start to finish. Making drums from scratch, a little bit of sound design, thinking about the arrangement and switching things around. Editing things, putting details into the final arrangement and everything in between that. Hey, this is Matt Zoe and you're watching my drum and bass production course with DMB Academy. Hey guys, this is Paolo and today we have a very awesome video. We're gonna be taking a look at how Matzo creates a snare from scratch using face blend and very cool techniques for layering. He makes this really cool future DMB clappy snare and the coolest thing is that this is only the tip of the iceberg because we have a full start to finish track course creation with over 9 hours of video from him with our presets, project files, samples and even bonuses included. So if you end up liking this video and wanting more, make sure you go to dmbacademy.com to get Matt Soul's producer bundle. So with that being said, enjoy the video. Okay. And I think for this tune that I'm making, I want to go for a sort of clappy type snare. Nothing with too much of a strong fundamental. So for that, I think I'm going to take a triangle wave and modulate it with some white noise. This is phase plant, by the way. A great synth. Um, it's my go-to for pretty much everything. You'll be seeing it a lot. So with this, you can modulate the tone. And I'm just gonna have it do the transient. This will just take care of the transient. So I'll make a, a snare pattern here. And yeah, we can play with the phase and all sorts of stuff to get a nice transient out of this. Put some high pass filtering. Yeah, now it's start starting to sound a little bit more like a clap. Yeah, I can add a transient shaper just to bring a little bit of the initial transient out. That's starting to sound more like a clap. So there we have the kind of basic transient transients of our initial hits, of our main hits. So 
now it's a question of layering up tails and other percussive elements to fill out the drums. And because we're working in Ableton, we can put this in a group and just add a new layer here. And we can work on the snare. So I'm going to do something pretty similar for the tail that we did for the transient. Just modulate an oscillator with some white noise. Maybe add a bit to the phase as well. That just gives us a nice tone to work with so we don't have just straight white noise. Although we can add white noise layers on top of this. But this just gives us a bit more control. So. And adding a high pass so we don't interfere with the other layers. There we go. I'm going to give this a unison, then spread them a little bit, give it some stereo width. Cool. Let's work on the kick a little bit. My name is Matt Zoe. I've been producing for almost two decades now, including quite a bit of drum and bass. <laughs> talk you through how I would produce a drum and bass track from start to finish. Making drums from scratch, a little bit of sound design, thinking about the arrangement and switching things around. Editing things, putting details into the final arrangement and everything in between that. Hey, this is Matt Zoe, and you're watching my drum and bass production course with DMB Academy.